FLAIR STANDS FOR FORWARD LOOKING INFRARED. IT USES HEAT RATHER THAN LIGHT TO DETECT IMAGES. BEFORE THE INTRODUCTION OF FORWARD LOOKING INFRARED, YOUR CAPABILITY TO GO OUT and, and, AND CONDUCT OPERATIONS AT NIGHT WAS SIGNIFICANTLY LIMITED. YOU HEAR WORDS LIKE, WOW, WITH ONE OF THOSE, IT'LL SAVE YOUR LIFE. Air Force was really looking for something to give them an edge at night. We indeed uh, got $30,000 to build uh, an experiment, I'll call it. It was revolutionary. Through commonality across a lot of equipment, they've been able to drive the cost down so that every one of our soldiers would have a technical advantage. The ability for the tank systems to see at night and fight at night helped tip the Cold War to our favor. Uncooled detectors enabled a soldier or a Marine to hand carry the product into the battlefield. We've also made advancements in reliability and then it increased image quality. Those thermal sites saw through not only sandstorm, but that smoke uh, to keep those Abrams gunners alive. And what FLIR technology gave us is we set it in the Army. We now own the night. And that really started what we call second generation FLIR, a higher performing FLIR technology. The second generation FLIR was the gold standard by which all other sensors are measured. I think the latest game changer for FLIR is being able to provide high definition imagery. We can see uh, the objects that they're holding, what they're doing. It allows you to judge intent. So when we talk about the 50 years of FLIR, it's really the story of innovation. Over that time, we've gone from individual systems without very good imagery to really a ubiquitous capability for the U.S. You feel this connection with the past, but more importantly, you have an outlook for the future that makes you feel real proud to be an employee that's working on these uh, new and innovative things within our company. It's about affecting the world in a positive way.